Hello there, welcome to my first unboxing video. Um, I've never done an unboxing video because I'm a grown ass man. And so I'd like to unbox for my first unboxing this box. It's a Nocturnal Reader's box and it's full of horrors. Horror, scary horror. This month they promise to be darker than ever, so we'll see what that means in a second. But we'll find out together because apparently um, one of the rules of these unboxing video thingies is uh, that I don't unbox it before I unbox it. So I don't know what's in this box. Um, they claim it's um, the feast. So I expect cannibals, zombies, and other uh, very meat-eating things. So, um, you know, it's kind of a ceremonial thing, I guess. My first unboxing video. I got my ceremonial drink here. Um, and so, uh, I feel like I need something better than scissors for this. And since it's the feast, um, a knife feels better. But, that doesn't seem to go far enough. So, we're gonna use this puppy. <clears throat> get to it. I feel like maybe I should add music or something. Something a little more in the moment. Let's see what we got here. Packaging things. Okay. All right, first up is this really cool license plate. Never read Joe Hill, but I know that's Nosferatu, his, uh, his, his novel. Uh, never read it, though. I'm getting Fire, the Fireman from uh, PS Publishing UK, um, so I'm very excited to read that. Um, I know people have said a lot of great things about this book, um, so it is, on my, um, it is on deck for me to read. So there's that. This looks like a shot glass. Um, so I am obviously not opposed to alcohol, so this might be very useful. I don't normally talk like this, I guess this is my unboxing video voice. It's annoying me too, so so if you're following along at home, yeah, I'm annoyed. Let's see what this is. Alright, this is so cool. It is... Oh wow, it's a death head moth from Silence of the Lambs. Very cool, there's the camera. Which which one, camera one or camera two? This is a big production. <laughs> I got one iPod, iPhone. Very, very cool, love it, love it, love it. Oh, what would this be? Um, well this is like a little uh, bottle opener. Again, enabling the uh, alcoholism is uh, this smile, you son of a bitch. Oh, that's excellent. It's a little Jaws keychain um, bottle opener because drinking and driving are, uh, they go great together. So, why not put a bottle opener <clears throat> on a keychain where you put your car key so you never forget? Put a little gas in you <laughs> before you hit the gas. I, I don't know what I'm doing either, so don't, don't worry about it. All right, what is this? Ooh. This looks cool. Of course, I'm going to say that about everything in here because I love the Nocturnal Reader's Box. This is the first one I got. It was All Hail the King. That was a smashing success. And I expect this one to get better and better. So, what do I got? Oh my god. This is hilarious. Friends don't let friends eat friends. Now, it is really great that we get this now because there's a lot of barbecue season left. And uh, I like to burn things on fire. 
until they're unrecognizable. And if I'm wearing this apron, people are gonna wonder, what is that meat that Jeffing Off is serving me? Nobody calls me Jeffing Off. I'm the only one that does, and it annoys everybody too. So, uh, anyway, this will get them guessing. My guests will be wondering, what is this delicious meat? Could it be the most taboo meat of them all? <laughs> is he serving me human beings? Not if they're not not if they're friends, of course, because that's the one rule. You know, you don't let friends eat friends. So they can eat guilt free, not knowing if it's uh, who it is. They know they don't know who it is, and whatever. I just go on tangents. Anyway, there are other items in this trove of items. I'm looking at these. I'm looking at these ahead of time, just glancing down. So. Uh, yeah. So this is, um, something I cannot read. It's Troop something or other. I don't know what this is a reference to. Huh. I'm gonna have to look this up after I do this little video. Look at that. What, do you know what that is? Huh? Are you talking to your computer right now? Huh? That'd be the only thing weirder than this voice that I'm making right now. Talking to your computer. Okay, now I'm at some books. I've never heard of either of these books, but I am dying to read them. They look so cool. The first one's Bleed by Ed Kurtz. When Walt Blackmore moves into an old gable front house and the outskirts of a small town, things are really looking up for him. He has an adoring girlfriend, a new job, and an altogether bright future. Walt's destiny is irreparably changed when a dark red spot appears on the ceiling in the hallway. Bit by bit, the spot grows first into a dripping blood stain and eventually into a grotesque, <clears throat> muttering creature. That's where I'll leave it because I don't want to keep doing that called Bleed by Ed Kurtz. Um, this looks cool. Looks like it's something that'd be right up my alley. I cannot wait to read it after I read some other things that are on my list. But Bleed, it's up there. Love it. Can't wait to get to it. The second book is called Come to Dust by Bracken, Mc... Bracken McLeod. I don't know. I'm not going to read that to you. Um, Looks really cool. Come to dust. I will get into this after bleed. Do you see how this works? Anyway, very cool. Cannot wait. Love me some um, new authors. Uh, I read a lot of Stephen King. Uh, Jack Ketchum. Things like that. So I love every time I'm exposed to a new author. And then finally, what's in here? A pretty cool art print. Um, and I could tell you what that is. It is called An Amazing Art Print Done by Michael Bloom. This one is entitled The Night of the Vampire. Pretty damn cool. It looks like a vampire, and I don't see the sun, do you? Yeah, it means it's nighttime. Or an eclipse. Or maybe just a really, really cloudy day. Not a vampire. Um, oh, and there's one other thing in here. Well, actually, two other things. I got two uh, bookmarks to go with my two books. It's called The Feast. Um, the official feast bookmark, an eye and a fork. It's a, it's a playful little thing I could do with the kids before we go to bed when I read them a story. Hey, kids. <laughs> hey, kids, don't worry, it's just your daddy. It's just your dad. You want me to read Green Eggs and Ham again? Huh? I promise I won't change the words much. So that is it for my first unboxing video. I was delighted to do it. I, um... Hope you were delighted to watch. I can't imagine anybody watched this whole thing. 
Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's awkward for me, too. Uh, I'm probably going to do more unboxing videos. So, yeah. Leave your comments down below. I don't know what that means. I just see other YouTubers do it. Leave them down below. Subscribe. And they point to things and things appear on the screen. Uh, that ain't happening with this. Catch you later. Or not. Click, 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 click.